So we're gonna um, we're gonna um, introduce the Rotarians a month, or I'm gonna introduce um, a man who needs no introduction, but that's what I get to do anyway. Um, Tom is going to talk to us uh, about something that he feels is really, really important, and I'm gonna pull that up for you now. Um, I, Tom is having intermittent in, internet problems this morning, so he'll, he, but he should be able to speak to us. Um, okay. Are you there? Yeah, so, I'm here. Do you want to say anything before I get this started? No, uh, everybody knows me and, and being the very serious person that I am, I took this very, very serious and, uh, and I hope you all do too. Um, the only thing is, uh, we did this in one take and uh, the sound is not that great. So you might want to uh, turn the sound up a little bit. Right, here we go. Oops. Uh, hold on a minute. This is my way, here we go. Let's see if that works. I have it on pause in my, this stupid thing. Let me move it up here, all right. Of and Wallace and Hines. Wait, can you guys hear that or see it? You can hear it, but can't see it. See, that's what I, I wanted it. to make sure. Hold on, okay, let's start over again. I thought I hadn't uh, switched my screen share, so let's do it again. Okay. There you go. What I'm here today with Tom Tays of Wallace and Hines at the very first bar that studies on a new method of testing COVID that can save not just Eureka, but Humboldt County and the nation, possibly tens of dollars. Tom, so what have you got for us today? Because COVID has been just heart-wrenching for everybody. The pandemic has stricken everybody, infected us all. What new? Mm. Uh-oh. I lost the sound, Maggie. Yeah. Are you hearing it still, people? No. No. Because okay, I'm hearing it on mine, so let me, um, huh. I don't know what to say about how to fix that. You can't mute yourself. Well, I was before, but hold on. Maggie, it might have something to do with the fact that you um, turn off your video. Oh. There we go. No sound. Maggie, if you yeah. unmute, there you go. You are seeing it, but there's no sound. Is that what I'm hearing? That's correct. Okay, well, I guess, okay, I understand now. Sorry, guys, sorry for being dense on this. And I read about this our sense of, sense of smell, sense of taste, yes. and I went, Yes. 
start with the basics. Smell it. Did you smell that? No COVID. No COVID. See? Oh, it's not really. No COVID. Oh, wow. Let's try that again. Still no COVID. No COVID. Why? Wow. 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 It gets better. Ay, ay, ay. then. So there are ways that you can, I guess, ensure that you don't get COVID. Well, I wish the sound turned out a little bit better, but that's all right. It was fun making. Oops, I lost everybody. And Tom, 
I think you should definitely keep your day job, but it, this is a this is um, this is this was good. This is fun. Well, it's fun to make, and uh, yeah, I wish the sound was a little bit better. It was fun, uh, definitely fun making it. All right, so um, thank you for that, Tom. And we are going to. Does anyone have any questions about the testing kit, or was it pretty clear? It seemed like it was a. Um, a pretty clear way to, to, to keep yourself safe. Um, and we're going to pick our Rotarian of the Month for December right now. And uh, But while I'm doing that, why don't we do the raffle? Nick, are you ready for that? Yep, I'm ready. All right, um, so the winner today is Barbara. And let's see if you win the $40. Five bucks. So I'll pay you through Venmo and um, uh, good luck next week. All right, congratulations, Barbara. Um, my number generator is I, whoops, sorry. Do you find that your fingertips, as you get older, they just don't work anymore? Anybody else have that problem? Ah, okay. All right. Um, I am going to ask, uh, Alex, are you still with us? Looking for your picture there. Yes. Could you pick a number, could you pick a number between 1 and 74, please? 13, 1, 3. 13. Well, that seems really appropriate because that's Terry Clark's number. So Terry, you are going to be the Rotarian of the Month for December. I, I, that was not a setup. Um, <laughs> perfect. So that's awesome. Um, you are, that's perfect. All righty. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Way to go. So I wanted to take a few minutes to wish some people some happy birthdays um, and uh, to hear what you guys have been up to. Uh, we'll start up there with Amanda. You had a birthday. How was it? I did. I had a, I had a very nice birthday. I had a sushi dinner from, uh, from down the street, which was amazing. They always think that I'm buying sushi for a party when it's just me and Ashley. So um, ate my weight in sushi and then uh, Scott and Robin made me a, a really amazing, but also very large uh, carrot cake, which has been feeding me for the last week. Nice. And that was my COVID birthday. How long is this cake lasting? Did you say it's been feeding you for how long? One week. It's only been a week since my birthday. I'm right. almost done with it and I haven't, it's still delicious. See, right there I'm impressed because a cake would not last a week around my house and there's just the one in me. So. Um, <laughs> And again, that's the difference. You know, you've got discipline. Okay. Well, happy birthday. I don't think Susan's here. I don't think Brandon's here either. Stephanie, are you here? I don't see Steph Stephanie's at Benbow Inn, enjoying a few days for her birthday. Perfect. So we'll hear from her again. Rob, I know, is not here. John, your birthday's coming up. What, do you have any plans, or is it supposed to be a big surprise party? That's it's my birthday is not till November. That's months away. <laughs> um, no, the the world is spinning too fast, and things are just happening too quickly. Um, yeah, I have no idea. We'll see. I might take the day off work. We'll see. Do Zoom meetings from home. <laughs> that's, that's a day off work. Oh, I guess because you can like not wear pants or something, yeah, and that's, exactly. that's your birthday present to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I hope you, do, if you take the day off, I hope you don't spend it Zooming because uh, that's not really a day off. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, happy upcoming birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Susan, Susan's not here and Mark's not here, but if you see any of these people out in the world um, from, a, from a properly physically distanced um, distance, wish them a happy birthday and they'll look at you and, well, they'll be happy that you remember their birthday. So 
That's, and you know, I looked, I, we don't have any anniversaries. However, I'm willing to um, admit that I could make mistakes. So do we have any anniversaries? I don't, this month, I don't think we do. People don't get married in November unless they have to. So happy, uh, happy Friday the 13th, everybody, um, if that makes sense. And actually I was saying to Terry earlier, it's a nice day to stay home, but I realized science or data says that most accidents happen at home. So you might need to leave home today just to be safe. So um, if, if that, if you have concerns about safety, you might want to go out into the world. Um, a reminder that if you didn't sign up for the district, what's it called? Um, the road, what's that thing called, Dustin, that you're deep in the middle of? Um, right now it's the Zone Institute. So. Zone Institute. Yeah, the, the Big West, which is zones 26 and 27, uh, 30 plus clubs from the, essentially the western half of the U.S. Um, at the Zone Institute, which is a, 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 a reunion for past district governors, graduation for current governors, and a leadership training for um, uh, pretty much everyone because it's uh, open now. So um, exciting speakers and breakouts and everything else. And I think you can still register and get in. So um, go ahead and uh, do that if you can. And if you're going to be sitting at home, uh, might as well. <laughs> so. Yeah, there's some really good stuff on there. If you didn't register, you did get an email from the district. And um, and um, <clears throat> and it, there's some good stuff on there. I'm going to do some of it today. So, and Dustin, do you, you say graduate, do you think you're going to pass your test and graduate or is it an iffy thing? Are we, are we? Going to in, yeah, it's up in the air right now. It's heads or tails. So we're going to flip the coin and see, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm holding my breath here. So, so got, go ahead. I was just going to say, so, so tonight you're going to graduate tomorrow. Is that, if it all goes well, you'll pass the test, you'll graduate. And then do we need to address you in any different way after that point? Oh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll let you know, I'll let you I'll know exactly how after, after tonight, tonight's the graduation. And if it all works out, then uh, tomorrow night's the uh, district uh, fellowship where we, uh, talk about it and celebrate and stuff. So I'll I'll let you I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Well, we need to know because we want to follow protocol. Protocol is everything. Exactly. Everything yeah. I without know. rules, we have nothing. <laughs> so one of our rules is that we end our meeting on time, and I'm a minute late, so I flunked today. Um, sorry about that, guys. I hope you have a great weekend, and um, stay safe and stay healthy and it's good seeing all your lovely faces we see you soon everyone take care